What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Hoopsick. Back with another reaction. Ice Nine Kills. Back on the channel. The song is Thank God It's Friday. This is the second song in the Silver Scream series. I just did the first song, The American Nightmare. This is the second song in the series. If you didn't see the first song, go back and check it out. I'm doing the whole series. They're all coming out on the same day. So if you see this, they're already out. I'm ready to jump right in. If you're new here, subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, click that like button, and let's go. Thanks, Gene. It happened here late last night. Seven mutilated bodies found strewn oh, about the 300-acre Texas campground behind me. An idyllic summer setting turned to tragedy a mere 24 hours after children went home for the season. Authorities are baffled by the lack of leads, having recovered only a machete with no discernible fingerprints. Reporting live from San Antonio. So is this going to be like one of the big horror people for each video? Because, you know, we're in Texas, seven mutilated bodies. You know, I know that thumbnail for the last one is it. You know, the it per picture and then you know the last one we had i think i think i see what's happening here i'm roy merkin back to you Jim. he's roy merkin of course he is i got it i figured it out good for me <laughs> Part two. Thanks, man. So Thank God it's Friday. How's the tour been so far? Texas was pretty cool. We went to San Antonio. I tried to piss on the Alamo, but we ran out of time. I'm trying to do like an Aussie thing, you know? <laughs> the sense there's a book coming. Well, the dreams are still there. Even with the diazepam? Yeah. It lasted for about... A week, I want to say, but then as soon as the tour started... Is it the same imagery as before with the girl? No. Well, the girl is there, but there's another girl who looks a lot like your colleague, Dr. Stonebridge. And now I'm in the dream, and my band is too. That's an interesting chain. What are you doing? It's really weird, but we're all camp counselors and we're shutting down this camp because it's the end of the season. And we start to hear these voices, voices from dead counselors of the past, ghosts really. And they're telling us, or warning us rather, that death is coming. Drowning our mistakes, fueled by the flood we pay in blood, the curse of crystal lake. This is so unique. Like, I'm not, I'm not a fan of horror whatsoever. But the way they have these songs written out with these stories, this is, this is so cool. This really is. And this song, this song's good. Like the last one. This is a good song. This, I feel like they'd be a good live show too. Obviously, 
you know, you get spoiled with all this, all the visuals in these videos, but their singer there, Spencer, he seems very high energy. Dude has such good cleans too. It's, this, this is a good band. I like it. I like the extra sounds. Who's behind that mask? Do we know that? Am I supposed to know that? Because I mean, it definitely looked like him doing all the slashing in the first video. Well, that's real improvement, isn't it? I mean, all of the protagonists survive this time. Well, I didn't finish the story yet. Oh, Lord. Go on. <laughs> Well, that's not exactly the soothing kind of story. It helps with uninterrupted sleep now, is it? No, it isn't. I'm surprised I didn't jump through the roof and that dude came out the water. I Dr. Stonebridge to up my dosage of diazepam? Just to get through the tour, maybe? I haven't had a full night's sleep in a week now. Well, Spencer, as much as that may seem like the solution, it, it, it's better to get to the bottom of what's causing the anxiety. I don't ever get full nights of sleep. Use these drugs, they can be highly addictive, you know. Did the dream start when you sought out Dr. Michelson two years ago? And what was going on then? It goes a lot further back than that. Really? How far? Since I was a little kid. Hmm, interesting. And does your childhood stand out as being the source of the anxiety? No, I mean, I had a pretty normal upbringing, nothing special, nothing crazy. Nothing really sticks out. Are we doing okay on time? Looks like we're almost at the one hour mark. Well, sure, but I have well, plenty I don't want to do that. Time. It's not fair to go over. I'm recording in L.A. next week, so let's say the week after that, and then we could sort of get to the bottom of this, take it from there. Fair enough. 
Well, why don't you just see Karen on the way out, and we'll set up a time for us to get to the bottom of this, okay? Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Spencer. See you in two weeks. Knock, knock. You know you're supposed to knock on the outside of the door. H hypothetically speaking, what am I res- Checking the time. One minute. You know you're supposed to knock on the outside of the door. H hypothetically speaking, what are my responsibilities to law enforcement? You know, if I believed one of my patients may actually have killed someone. Well, we can go to law enforcement if the patient has specifically said that they had or planned to commit a murder. But short of an outright admission, what is discussed is between patient and doctor confidentiality either way. That's a really specific question, Ian. I mean, should we go to counsel or? Dude, I mean, not at all. It was purely a hypothetical question. Only intellectual, in fact, you know. It's, uh, what is that? Kale salad. Ugh. Part two, Ice Nine Kills. Thank God it's Friday. Another great song. I loved it. This story is a very intriguing. Like, I'm so hyped that I'm sitting down here all in one sitting and doing this whole thing. Um, if you didn't see the first one, go watch it. Uh, there's three more to come. If you're new here, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. The like button. New videos daily. Thank you so much for watching.